<laughs> We're heading to the coast. I don't know which beach. I think Tillamook. Tillamook. Well, <laughs> Tillamook. Tillamook, she says. It's Tillamook. Tillamook. Or Tillamook. Tillamook. Um, she says Tillamook. It's her, her dad's accent coming out in her. He's from South Dakota. Dakota. South Dakota. <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> That's my Irish Swedish coming out. Um, first place we got ahead, gas station. Um, follow along. Hold your breath. Here comes the tunnel to the West Hills of Portland. There are many, many routes to the Oregon coast. To the left, Tillamook. To the right, Astoria. When will we be there, Mama? When we reach the other side of the Blue Mountains. If you are an outdoor enthusiast, you will fall in love with the Tillamook area. It is home to more than a dozen mapped and maintained hiking trails, more than 800 miles of navigable waters for the kayak enthusiast. And don't forget about the crabbing, clamming, and fishing that takes place in the area. You feel the need to relax and take in the scenery instead? Tillamook is home to the famous Three Capes Scenic Loop. On this drive, you'll find the Three Arch Rocks, Neatarts Bay, and Haystack Rock in Pacific City. And for all you foodies out there, let's not forget about the Tillamook Cheese Factory, Blue Heron, French Cheese Company, and the Tillamook County Smoker. Welcome to the Tillamook Creamery. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we were unable to go inside as we did not have reservations set up. Fortunately for us, they did have the ice cream shop open where we could walk up, grab our ice cream, or get a bite to eat, walk out into the yard, and enjoy. Just no squeaky cheese for us today.
Garibaldi is a port town nestled at the northern end of Tillamook Bay. At the marina, commercial fishermen sling fresh Dungeness crabs, lingcod, rockfish, and even octopus onto the docks. Sports fishermen tell tales at the fillet table about their record Chinook. Kayakers paddle out to look for bald eagles, pigeon guillemots, and purple martens, while gulls circle above and harbor seals surface to see what's going on. Are you looking for the perfect beach getaway? Look no further than Rockaway Beach, which has been drawing visitors since the first train brought families for their beach vacations in 1920, even before the highways were built. Rockaway has never stopped being a great destination to gather with family and friends. With over 100 vacation rental houses and 300 hotel rooms, Rockaway Beach is ready to be your destination on the magnificent Oregon coast. With seven flat miles of soft, sandy beach, perfect for beachcombing, kite flying, or simply just strolling along with the Pacific Ocean at your feet,
Lincoln City is home to the Chinook Winds Casino and the 18-hole Chinook Winds Golf Resort, formerly known as Lakeside Golf and Racquet Club. This is a semi-private golf course that opened in 1926. Chinook Winds Golf Resort measures 4,404 yards from the longest tees and has a slope rating of 108 and a 62. Of course, no trip to the Oregon coast would be complete without a stop at the Pig and Pancake. Serving breakfast all day, this is one of our favorite stops along the way. Lincoln City was formed in 1965 from the small communities of Taft, Nelskett, Cutler City, DeLake, Ocean Lake, and Wacoma Beach. There are seven miles of beachfront in Lincoln City. You will usually find the beaches filled with colorful kites taking advantage of the winds in this city on the 45th parallel. Lincoln City was named Kite Capital of the World by Kite Lines Magazine. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining me on this episode of Trippin' with Connie. Since the closest Oregon beach is only about a two hour drive from Portland, it's always been on our go-to list. When I was young, my parents used to take us down there for the day. Sometimes we would end up driving from little town to little town before we would find a vacancy in one of the hotels and spend the night. Most nights we would just turn around and come back home. When I was a teenager and a little bit older, my friends and I would go down for a weekend or sometimes we'd just get a wild hair, jump in the car at midnight and shoot down to the coast. Most days we just went down, watched the sunset, turned around and came back. If you'd like your own adventure on the Oregon coast or anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, give me a holler.